UGD coming at you with the range report of the FN, FNP9 and 9mm. That's, that's right, fellas. It is the correct caliber. And fellas, this is my new daily carry. If you saw my first look, I'm looking to replace a 6-hour P250 subcompact that my wife has claimed for herself. And this is one of the candidates of a few different firearms. The reason I took a look at this one as a candidate is because of the weight. Fully loaded with uh, 16 plus 1, it comes in at 32 ounces. And uh, that definitely works for me on a carry concealed. And so, yeah, $350 with three magazines, case, and a, frankly, one hell of a firearm. I figured I couldn't go wrong on testing. So this thing has been to the range now four times. Well over 500 rounds in this gun. Well over 500. Might be knocking on the 600 round mark. No failure to fires, no failure to ejects, no jams, nothing. Just runs like clockwork. If you saw my first look, that barrel, thin barrel, in the forums, uh, a lot of concern on the forums about that. And yeah, it is, uh, as I've said before, shockingly thin. So the first few mags through this gun were quick and fast just to heat it up, and then I was going to bear down and see how accurate I could be with it. Pulled that target in, and I was shocked. I'm accurate with the gun. Now, any good manufacturer is going to make an accurate gun. The accuracy of a gun comes from the shooter. And when the shooter is accurate with the gun, it means it's fitting him well. As far as accuracy, for me, it's all down to personal preference. And what it was was the grip on it. The grip works for me, and I felt like on the second, third, fourth plus shots, I was not having to reposition my hand. I was getting a good bite on it, and I had a lot of control over the firearm. This really worked for me right off the bat. And I'll keep rolling in some footage of the different range uh, sessions that we had with this firearm. And these decockers, that was another concern of this firearm, was the decockers on this thing. And they do stick out about a mile and a half. Now, the only issue I've had with that is when I holster the firearm. So when I go in to holster it, it will try to hang up right there. Now, my holster does go over them. But when I'm putting it in, i got to be very deliberate when I holster the firearm. Well, there's nothing wrong with being deliberate when you're holstering the firearm. Now, the rest of the controls are really tight and smooth to the gun. Really comes out with no problem, no issues whatsoever. And then the, uh, the last thing, if you saw my first look, the other issue I had with the firearm was the slide lock. The slide lock had a little bit of rub right there. A little bit of rub. And so carefully... I mean, just a little bit of pressure to try to get that a little bit wider. Yeah. And I think I got that fixed because the magazines, they're, they're locking open. They're, they're last shot locking open. So, all in all, the range reports in. This gun just absolutely works for me. Now, it went head-to-head -head with the 6-hour SP-2022 uh, Caltech, a couple other firearms as, as possible replacements. And you'll see those videos coming up down the road. And... It's not that Sig Sauer doesn't build a hell of a firearm, and it's not that they don't build an accurate firearm. It was just all about shooter preference, and this gun just absolutely works for me. Fellas, uh, the reason I've gone to a full size is I want to train with this regularly. I want to get to the range at least twice a month and get, some, get a couple magazines down range that I stay confident with this firearm, and that's what it comes down to. If you've made the decision to carry concealed, it's going to come down to confidence. God forbid that you've got to pull this out with purpose. You've got to know that you're going to be able to put shots where you need to put shots. And this FN, FNP9 absolutely does it for me. I couldn't be happier with the firearm. You know, I have the confidence that I've got the right tool for me. The range report is in, 500 plus rounds. The gun fits me perfect. The accuracy is there for me does everything that I need a carry concealed weapon to do. This is the winner for me right now. And the great thing about being a used gun dude, I may come across something that I think is a whole lot better down the road. So this is UGD bringing you the FN, FNP9, 9mm. And fellas, if you're in the market for a used gun and you come across these FNPs because the FNX has replaced this gun, you should be able to find these at a bargain. Uh, the fit and finish of a FN, you know, just excellent. I put it on par with Six Sour. Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you think my doctor's prescription is way off, hit the dislike. And please subscribe. I mean, my son is talking Legos and, and God, he's just killing me. I'm the dude. So that's what you call me.